My name is Lindsay Aitchison, and I am the Deputy Project Manager for the Advanced Spacesuit Design. And what my job has to do is taking all the different features of a spacesuit and figuring out how they work together to build an entire system that can take us back to the moon or onto Mars. What's inspiring to me is that we're actually doing something in my job. We're not just talking about a theoretical trip to Mars, we're actually designing the technologies today and testing them here in-house. Technologies that are going to enable human exploration of Mars in the next 10, 20 years. And we get to get inside of the spacesuits ourselves because the best way to understand how your spacesuit is working is to actually put it on and walk around in it. And that way, by our own experience and then talking with the crew about what it's like to wear that suit on space station, we can have a better understanding of where we need to tweak the design. So having the first-hand interactions with testing, that makes it a pretty cool job. When I was about four years old, I first came to Johnson Space Center with my parents. And that's when I got to try on spacesuit helmets and we went all around and we watched a couple of different IMAX videos about what it's like to live in space. And that's what really got me excited. And then I went to science summer camps as well as engineering summer camps in high school. And those were the opportunities to get a hands-on um, interaction with what is an engineering problem. So in one case, we had to design a little boat and then build it that was powered by solar power. And so it was again just that idea of they give you a set of tools and say build something. And that aspect of engineering really appealed to me. And I was able to take that on into university where I became an engineer. My advice for anyone pursuing a career in fashion design or the integration of fashion and technology is really to experience as much breadth of opportunities as possible. It would be surprising how much overlap there is between what you wear for your soccer practice to what you might wear in a theater production. There's a lot of overlap in how you would design those two things. Same thing going back to your spacesuit, right? There's a lot of overlap. So as varied as your interests can be, that's going to make you a much better designer just because you have that breadth of experience and you can see new ways to fit different pieces of things together. That's one of the things that we look at right now is how can we take what we see in other applications? So sports clothing is very similar to what we wear on the inside of our spacesuits because we have to do the same kind of job. So you are working out inside of your spacesuit. Doing a spacewalk really is its own kind of sport. And so we have to make sure that you have the appropriate equipment to do that sport. So sometimes it's wearing um, breathable garments. So whether it's that sweat wicking fabric that you wear next to your skin to keep you cool, that's one of the things, but it's also about padding. So if you think if you're playing football, you have this protective gear because you're cramming into other people and hitting those impacts. The same type of thing can happen inside of your spacesuit. So we have to figure out how do we have the protection you need, but not take away from the mobility you need to get out there on the field. These are all science questions that you're asking, what do you want to do? How do you find an answer? It's about framing the problem and finding a solution.